what in the world? Look at the size of this rolling pin compared to the smaller regular sized one. That thing is definitely weapon grade. Hey guys, I'm out thrifting today. I just left Goodwill, but it was super packed. So I didn't do any filming in there just because I felt like I was in the way everywhere I go. So today I'm gonna go into Salvation Army and hopefully do a little bit of filming in there. We'll see what happens. It, the parking lot isn't terrible today, so we're gonna try, but who knows? <laughs> so let's get going. I wanna go see what they have. So we're getting a big storm here that's gonna last uh, several days and it's gonna be small amounts each day or as it comes down but I wanted to stock up on some of my goodies so that I would have some crafty supplies to paint up and do different things with not that I don't have a stash downstairs but I just wanted to go thrifting before we get the snow so I'm just looking around I was gonna film and talk at the same time but their music is so stinking loud in there and I think the speaker is like right over where I am so uh, you know where I'm looking or where I like to look so I'm just going to walk around and look and I'll just comment on different things that I saw that really stuck out to me I really love coming in here because the prices are pretty good they have gone up a little bit but they're still fairly good so I do like to come in here it's kind of like my little uh, honey hole of pretty cool stuff this was a false craft uh, little candle holder with a couple candles and I thought it was really pretty but and it was $3.89 there as you can see but uh, I didn't pick that up this is really cute too it's a little I think it was part of a little tea set so look at that tiny little teacup so pretty it was beautiful uh, I'm trying to learn the prices of different things uh, or the value. I mean, I look at stuff as, as far as repurposing and a reselling aspect, but sometimes I like to uh, look at things and try to learn if they're worth anything. Like this plate is just, I thought it was beautiful and I have no idea what those markings mean, but I thought that was just a beautiful plate. Uh, if I had any idea how much it was worth, probably I would be shocked and want to pick it up. But, um, and I do use Google Lens. It, that's uh, an app that you download and you can take pictures and search for different things that you see. And it does help sometimes, but I don't, it doesn't always come up in search. So it's kind of hard to get, um, you know get information from different things I have been watching a lot of thrifting or yeah thrifting channels out there that are kind of helping me a little bit uh, figure out what's you know worth something I thought this little candle holder was pretty cool it was pretty neat it would be neat painted up um, I think it was just a ceramic piece but I think it said 1974 on it which was pretty cool and that would have been pretty neat to use as a riser over a base for something. But uh, look at this, the size of this weapon grade <laughs> rolling pin. This thing is huge and it's heavy. And then look at the comparison between the regular, that's just a regular little rolling pin. And the other one was huge and the little one was more expensive. So I was just amazed. My husband says the middle part there that's white is ash, and then the ends, he said it looks like they're a maple. Um, so I picked up the bigger one. Because it was less expensive, I may trade it out for one that I have here that's like the small one, and decorate the small one up and keep the big one. I don't know. It's going to need a little bit of work. It does have a little bit of a funny spot on it, but I think I can get it out and just re-oil it. I always look at these little tins they always have a few and some of them are pretty interesting nothing that I wanted today but I did buy a heart one and a chicken shaped one not too long ago from here and they both have sold I believe so I thought that was pretty cool um, I really like that chicken one I almost kept it for myself but if I kept everything that I liked I would be in big trouble they have a really small basket section here 
uh, and their baskets, I don't know, that one was $2.99 for that tiny little basket. I just thought it was a little much and um, nothing that, you know, out of the ordinary. These were pretty cool though in the bag. Uh, they're baskets, but they're, I can't imagine somebody hand making those, they're so tiny. But it looks like that's what they did and so cool. So my eye went right to these up on the shelf. These are little uh, chicken decor candles. I thought they were salt and pepper shakers at first and they're just so cute. But it looks like they're little milk jug handles maybe or milk can handles. And um, they, one of them was broke off on each of them. So, but the candles weren't used and they were pretty cute. And I did use Google Lens for that. And one of these is selling for, well, hasn't sold yet, but selling for $15. So $15 a piece. And I think those were $1.99 each. And I just thought they were so cute. Anything chicken I just love. Because, of course, I have chickens here. But I try not to buy too many chicken things for myself just because, um, I don't know, I just don't want my whole house chicken decor. But it's so hard when they're so cute. This little mug was pretty cool, uh, just a little beer, beer stein type of thing, and nothing that I would want, but I thought it was pretty neat. And as I was walking by, I backtracked ooh, right there. I looked up, and this little bank was so, so cute. Bank of Italy, it said. I should have looked this up on Google Lens to see what it would be worth. It didn't have a little plug in the bottom, but I think those are fairly easy to buy. I don't know, but uh, he was so cute. Here's another thing I should have bought. Don't moose with me before my coffee <laughs> from Acadia National Park. That's a big park here in Maine. Uh, a lot of people flock there down on the coast in the summertime. It's down in Bar Harbor and it's a beautiful place to visit, but that mug was huge and it was just the perfect size for my one coffee a day. <laughs> this was a pretty cool crock. It was a, a Williamsburg pottery crock and I did look this up to uh, to see if it was worth anything. It did have a chip on it so something I have learned is that don't buy anything with a chip on it unless you can maybe fix it uh, and it really wasn't worth a lot a lot especially for what they were asking for it so I knew that I couldn't buy that. This was a very pretty mug, very springy. I just love the spring flowers on it. So here we go with the chicken decor again. I found these little uh, molds that were very, very cool. This one had a chicken on it. I'm thinking that I can use my clay and flatten it out and put it over there and make some over the top of this and make some molds with it. Uh, and this one was a duck as well. I'm going to grab these and make some different molds and then uh, probably sell them in my booth or maybe online. I'm not sure. I did open an eBay account, but I'm just dabbling in, just kind of playing around trying to find some different things. I do some, find some really cool stuff sometimes and I just never know what it's worth. This wasn't anything that I would want, but it was very unique and the design on it was very cool so it was for something so uh, I don't know I see I look at these and go what is this worth I did want that little tiny rolling pin I got the great big one now I want the little tiny one you can always use those in decor there's a little ice bucket I thought would be pretty neat to redecorate and make into something else but I skipped it This little plate was really pretty, very springy, and it was a collector's plate. Again, don't know if it was worth anything. I did not look it up on Google Lens, but it was very springy. I like this little mug, Pennsylvania Dutch Company. 
this may have been something too that might have been worth something but I don't know it was starting to get kind of busy in there and there were people moving in onto the area where I was and it was making it kind of hard to film so I did a little bit more filming and then I moved on to a less popular spot. Before I moved on, I found this funny little creation with this grater. It, I like the grater because it had like a rusty old look to it, but that thing was just strangely put together. I don't really know what that was all about. This little Dutch shoe was so cute from Amsterdam Marriott, it said. So I thought that was pretty interesting. These peaches looked almost real in the package. <laughs> so cool. Sometimes when you find them, they don't look that real, but those looked pretty real. You could probably take a bite of those. A little garlic uh, crop top. There was no bottom there, but the top was pretty cool. So now I've gone down into the bigger area. They really didn't have a lot of wood stuff that I like to work on, but they do have picture frames and things like that down here. So I wanted to check that out. That hassock was pretty cool. And this desk is pretty neat. They wanted originally, I think, let's look, 89? Yeah, 89.99, so $90. It's 20% off on that. But it was really pretty, but nothing that I needed to pick up today. This is more, uh, you get your electronics and your lamps and kids toys and things down here. And I just always take a peek to see what I can find. When I looked at the lamps, I looked up at this one here and does anybody else see like a candle holder or cut it down and make two different candle holders? Uh, it says as is because the inside was all messed up and it might just need to be tightened. I haven't messed with it yet, but I almost want to take everything out and just make two candlesticks out of it or even just uh, one tall candlestick. So I did pick that up, as you can see, I put it in my cart. This was a really cool picture frame or picture uh, on wood. I really thought that was very pretty, but it had a big smudge on it that I, I just couldn't look past. Anybody from West Virginia here? Wild and wonderful West Virginia. That sign was pretty cool. These little shadow box frames were so cute. I love the little chicken in there. And I thought that I could bring those home and paint the frames and make those chickens pop even more. I feel like they get kind of drowned out by the, the wood frame around them and I almost picked them up, but I decided against it. Okay, so I'm out of Salvation Army. I was able to do, as you can see, a little bit of filming. It was pretty busy, especially in the sections that I go in. I stay out of the clothes, and there was a lot of people in the trinkety, um, wood uh different areas but anyway that i like to hang out in so there was a lot of people but my total today was 23.45 i bought one two three four five six items for 23.45 i got a bunch of stuff at goodwill where i couldn't really fill and i spent like 68 dollars maybe ish in uh goodwill so I will be doing a video soon to show you what I got because I'm going to be wanting to do some things. I wanted to get a lot of stuff to go in my booth that I didn't have to do stuff to. And there's a few, quite a few things, but I am still picking up things that I can uh, repurpose and, uh, you know, wood projects that I can paint and create with. So I'm not stopping that, but I was trying to find some stuff to fill up my booth a little bit. Uh, while I do my repurposing because it takes a little longer to do that than just cleaning and taking tags off other things So but I found some good stuff both ways 
So uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for shopping around with me and uh, look for the haul video coming up soon.